All right, arc length continued. So, cleaning up my arc length formula here. Uh, I end up with this equation when I take the derivatives and square them. And then I didn't include the steps, but I encourage you to play around with your trig identities. With a little trig identity jiggery pokery, you end up with this, which is relatively easy to take the antiderivative of. Now remember, here we're taking the or yeah, antiderivative, the integral of theta, uh, not r. So r is a constant; it's just hanging out. After cleaning that up, you should end up with 8r. So I encourage you to uh, take your derivatives of x and y with respect to theta. See if you end up with this to start with as your uh, integrand. Clean up your integrand with some uh, trig identities. A little magic brings you over to this right here. And then evaluating from 0 to 2 pi, you should find that 8 times the radius is the distance traversed by that point traveling through two-dimensional space there, which is kind of neat. So if this were radius 1, although we covered 2 pi horizontally, rolling that circle, its circumference, the point that we watched traveled 8 units. It's beautiful, huh? Uh, something else to point out, slope is pretty easy to do in uh, parametric equations. We normally think of slope as dy dx, change in y over change in x. Uh, we just tweak it a little bit, that would be dy d theta over dx d theta. So you find your derivative of y with respect to theta, divide by your derivative of x with respect to theta, clean it up. For some reason I thought I should try and kind of rationalize the denominator, and when you try to get rid of the one minus cosine by, say, multiplying both the top and bottom by one plus cosine, well, you end up with this sucker right there, which isn't too much different. Sometimes one's easier than the other. Uh, there are other ways to rewrite it, but none are really any better than that first one I had there. Evaluating the derivative then, you just pick a value of your parameter to plug in, and see what happens. So this says uh, at pi degrees rolled, then I should be, I should have a derivative of zero. Now if I look up my picture here, at, uh, if this was a radius one, uh, pi degrees would lead me to the peak here, which should have a horizontal tangent line. Similarly, if I plug in pi over two, I, my equation tells me that the slope of the tangent line should be one, I'm looking at my picture, pi over 2 is going to be right about here. And it's kind of hard to tell by my scale, but I could buy that that might be positive 1. I didn't really uh, try to make the x scale and y scale the same. Notice I just called that r. So, arc length, minor tweak of our formula. Slope, calculus with per parameterizations, minor tweak of the formula. Let's look at another problem. Oh boy. Okay. Area under a parametric cycloid. Here is a rough sketch of my cycloid. An area is normally uh, integral of y, the heights, with respect to x, right? Well, that's, that's a good idea for area. Uh, base times height. So to do base times height parametrically, the chain rule comes in because y is a function of theta and x is a function of theta. So what we end up with is uh, having y times x prime d theta. Okay, so we have the original y function, the heights, and the dx turns into x prime d theta. Okay. In other words, uh, can I squeeze this in here? dx d theta is equal to x prime of theta, which is where this relationship comes from right there. Or u substitution chain rule. Anyway, uh, taking your y and x prime and plugging them in here, you end up with this equation, which is kind of cool because you have a square of an object. You really have to square that out. Gives you this little uh, trig identity work that needs to be done there. So I'll let you try that. Uh, Here's some of my trig identity. I'll let you fill in the pieces, how I got from here to here. 
pull out my r squared, evaluate from 2 pi to 0, so I think this is my antiderivative, I get 3 pi times r squared is the area under the curve. So if my radius was 1, then the area under my curve would be 3 pi. Distance across the bottom would be 2 pi. Kind of cute, huh? All right, so there is a crass course in parameterizations, graphed, and calculus based on parameterizations. Slight tweaks on our original uh, styles of calculus, whether it be area, slope as a derivative, or arc length. Have fun. I'll post some homework soon. And I'll do polar and polar derivatives and integrals next.